Hello and welcome to the James B. Duke Memorial Library APA video series. My name is Rosalind Moore and today I will be talking about citing online images using APA. Citing images online can be complicated most often because there are two scenarios. The first is having all the information required for your citation which would include the creator, artist, organization, the date of the creation, the title, and the source. The second scenario would be missing information which is most often common when citing images online. Now we're going to talk about all the required information needed for your citation. That would be author, artist, which would be the last name, initials or company's name, role of the creator, example for instance graphic designer or the photographer, year of the creation if available, title or description of the image, type of work, example, it's a photograph or a painting, and the retrieval URL. And below I have listed an example of how your source, step-by-step um, -step what that source should look like. Here we have an example of an image that was retrieved on the Doctors Without Borders website. And we're first going to list the author's last name, first initial, the year. Then we're going to give list the website's the name. And we're going to let our reader know that it's an online image, when it was retrieved from the website, and then the website URL. Now we have an image with no author. So this is an example of how to cite an image with no author. So instead, because we don't have an author, we're going to just put flu epidemic, that it's an online image, the year, when it was retrieved, the date it was retrieved, and the website URL. Now we have an image with no author, no title, no date. So here, you're going to list untitled illustration of a sleeping dog, when it was retrieved, the date it was retrieved, and the URL. Remember, online images can be complicated, but just remember to give as much information as possible about the image that you have used. Thank you, and if you have any additional questions, you can definitely contact any one of the staff members at the James B. Duke Memorial Library. Thank you.